everybody, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Kyle Lowry. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. And we have a minute to catch up with our reporter. What do you have for us, Allie? Well, Bam Adebayo grew up with his mom in a single wide trailer. He said, quote, I watched her struggle. And as I got older, I started thinking, she doesn't deserve this. My whole devotion became getting her out of that trailer. And Brian, with this max extension in 2020, he said, quote, knowing that she's set for life is such a stress reliever. Great story, Ali. Thanks. Well, here we are in the back end of the regular season. Brent teams are starting to feel restless, especially the teams outside the playoff conversation. Well, B.A., we talk a lot about teams that have great culture that are winning teams. Sometimes teams that have great culture, this is one of the more important moments where you're trying to finish off the season strong. You want to have guys continue to stay focused. This is where culture might be more important. So a look at our starters for the Heat. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Butler out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. And for the Nuggets, Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. And it's Murray in at point guard. Now here's Murray. Jokic with a screen on Lowry. Here's Murray. Here's Jokic from the arc. Knocks down the long tail. Kind of amazing because Jokic has that passing ability and what it's done in terms of how the coaches run their offense around what he can do. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. Now here's Murray. 15 in his last outing. Here's the three. Kept alive. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Shoots over Hero. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got five points. Good job reading the floor. Aaron Gordon solid at sensing when someone's open. Now out of bio. Inside. Butler against Porter. Second chance effort. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Greg. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2,000-1,500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, we've never really seen that before. That's good from Butler. Now, Jimmy's an interesting personality on the team. So between what the staff demands of him and what he demands of the teammates, that can be a delicate balance. Now here's Murray. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. Jokic, no good. He'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Martin misses. The Nuggets have gone two for five here in the first. Pass to Murray. Here's Jokic. One eleven left in the first. Jokic to screen. Murray from outside. And Hero grabs the board. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Jokic against Adebayo. Hero outside. There's the triple. Miami, no good that time either. Denver has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Jokic with a screen on Hero. Down low. And it's Jokic, that time on the assist by Murray. And Murray with an instinctual play there. He has that ability. He can see the play. It evolves. And he makes a quick decision. Now here's Butler. He had 25 points in his last game. And stolen by Jokic. 
man here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Murray with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Jokic. Over Butler. Jokic, no good. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. And so the first quarter is in the books. Nuggets ahead, up four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. so far halfway through the first half in this one all right guys what do you think about the nuggets here in this one yeah, just excellent first quarter defense they've been really getting after it. just a, a great job really of making the game ugly trying to muck it up a little bit out there and so here is Miami trailing by four they've got Bruce Brown Green out there with Michael Porter. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Smith in at the point. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. So much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always want on the floor. And he knocks down the first one. All right, Brent, you're part of the front office. Take back the curtain a little here. What do you guys do that the average fan doesn't know about? Well, the draft process is a lot more in-depth than people would ever realize and one of the biggest things B.A. that you have to take into account is what it is not just talent wise you're inviting into the building but the character and how it fits around what you've already established so taking one guy that might be a player that you think is a great player might not be great for the current team that you have and so the layers they run pretty deep now here's Smith shot clock at six green a screen the Nuggets need to get one up. Fires the three. Denver the rebound. Pass to Porter. Now Green. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Miami trailing. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Two minutes remaining. And here's Robinson. Two minutes. Oladipo outside. Up and over Porter. Back to Robinson. Outside Butler. Three-pointer. He can't get that one to fall. Now Denver takes it the other way. And Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down comes to reloading this team knows how to do it well and keeping us updated from the sideline Allie LaForce well Miami is very efficient coach Spolster said quote you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like you're taking turns I don't think anyone would say that about our team they're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball and they enjoy each other's success Brian Allie thank you the Nuggets have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter Green with a screen on Oladipo. Here's Smith. Rebounded by Butler. The Heat on offense. They've only given up two points this quarter. 52 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Again, the Heat misses. I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him. And he should have just kept it simple. Smith outside. A little mid-range shot is up. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Not a bad shot for the mid-range. The D's giving it to him. And he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Order in the post. 
He's guarded by Oladipo. Pass to Brown. And it's blocked by Butler. Great defense from Jimmy Butler, judging when that shot was going up and getting the rejection. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Nuggets ahead, leading by five. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Thanks for tuning in. With half the game in the books, a bit of ground to make up for the Miami Heat. I have a question for them, Kenneth. Are they scared of the paint? Right now, they're playing like the key is a forbidden zone. Come on. You know what? You know what we should call that, Shaq? Paintophobia. And now let's talk about that first half. A look at the top performers from both teams so far. A couple of guys locking horns tonight. Neither one of them backing down, as you would expect. You can tell both teams are giving these guys space to work. And they're taking advantage of the opportunities. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And so here is Miami. It's a five-point game. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Caleb Martin out there with Bam out of bio. And it's Lowry in at the one. The Nuggets shooting poorly, just 29% from the floor in this game. And Aaron Gordon Grant, growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. Now, we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. And that's a staple move from Aaron Gordon. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Lowry against Murray. Adebayo sets a screen. Martin outside. Jokic against Adebayo. Over Jokic. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. And now let's see who is leading the league in steals. Second is Jimmy Butler. And he's such a plus defensively for his team. Those steal numbers scare opponents and lead to fast break buckets. Denver in the lead. Jokic with a screen on Lowry. Murray passes to Jokic. Porter with it. A minute 53 left in the third. Six to shoot. Murray finds some space. 
Adebayo grabs the board. Miami with the ball. Here's Butler. Averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Here's Martin. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Martin's got his first bucket in this one. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. One twenty-one left in the third quarter. Outside Murray. Up and over Lowry. And it's Miami with a rebound. Butler's got his fourth rebound in this one. Hero outside. Pass to Adebayo. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Now Murray. Gordon on the wing. Outside Porter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Caldwell Pope. And another miss by Denver. For Miami, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Here's Lowry. Good D by Jokic. And the Nuggets shooting just 28%. Lacking confidence on offense right now. Adebayo against Murray. Pass to Jokic. And he banks in the layup. Jokic has got his second basket. Ah, the marriage of a big man and touch. There it was from Jokic. And so it's the Denver Nuggets closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallying the troops. Trust each other. Let's get that ball moving. Right. Ball moving. No holds. No holds. Right. Moving the ball is so important to Coach Spoh. It helps make the offense run smoothly. When you move the ball, more scoring opportunities open up. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Contavious Caldwell Pope out there with Zeke Nagy. Then it's Bruce Brown. Then it's Jackson. And it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Good work down low from the 6-2 Reggie Jackson. Not bashful. Here's Adebayo. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago. Out to the right wing. Lowry against Jackson. Lowry, good. That's Kyle Lowry just putting it all on the line. Just outworking guys to get in that close. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. To the middle. Deflects the pass. And Jokic throws it down. And look at those moves in the post. And the smooth finish to go along with it. Just excellent work around the rim. Sixty ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Lowry outside. And finished off by Adebayo. That's everything you want there, Bam. Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. There's a minute 54 left in the game. Lowry against Jackson. To the wing, right side. Now here's Jokic. He's guarded closely. The shot misses. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Struce against Brown. Back to Adebayo. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. The Nuggets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Back to Jackson. Jackson. 
Rebound by the Heat. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points, and they need a map. Looking unlikely right here. That time ticking away. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. Oh, man. And Duncan has hit big shots before. Let's add another to the list. And the Nuggets call time here. They lead by four. 56 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Different look for Denver. Gordon, he's checked in for Naji. Porter Jr. comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Jamal Murray is subbed in for Jackson. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Guys, thanks a lot. I had a chance to hear what Mike Malone was saying to his team. He was animated in his approach. He said, quote, you guys understand the moment you've been here before. The next few possessions could determine who comes out of here with the W. Let's make sure it's us. As always, Ali, we thank you. Outside Murray to the paint. Here's Jokic. Another shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Bam out of bio. And Jokic just has that presence out there. Never looks like he's feeling any kind of pressure. Just that calm demeanor it really helps him in these clutch kind of moments. Gets the first, and that puts him up five. Jokic gives you such a great foundation out there. He stays so level-headed. That's the kind of leader that this team has been feeding off of. He's off on the free throw. Unable to get the second one to drop. And here are the Heat now. Hero with it. Now guarded by Brown. That one's wide left. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. And right here, they can't waste any time. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And the line for the Heat, Ben Adebayo. Two shots. Two. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam, as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. Of empty at the line, and he commits the intentional foul. Thank you. 
And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. Michael Porter Jr. continuing to be pressed off the floor with these injuries to get himself righted back and healthy and make contributions at a high level. And he does get the second one. And that increases the lead to six. And the Heat call time here. They trail by six. 27 seconds left to play in the fourth. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Martin with a screen on Murray. Back to Butler. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. And that's an intentional foul. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Nikola Jokic taking two shots. Free throw is good, and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here, and it's an eight point ball game. Miami calls timeout, they trail by eight. 16 seconds left in the final quarter.
16 seconds left to play in the fourth. Martin, the pass to Struess. Offline with a three. Now here's Smith. So the Nuggets win it. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. All right, thank you, Nicola. This team showed up tonight defensively. What can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? I mean, uh, it's a whole collective, you know, it's a, not just all guys, the five guys on the floor, uh, so it's a coach, it's a bench, it's a fan, so thank you, thank you guys, thank you a lot. Thanks to all, thanks to you, Nicola, back to you guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there, thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. <laughs>